So neuroplasticity is, um, really highlights the ability of your nervous system to adapt. Um, and so pain is, an ex is, is a function of your nervous system. Uh, and um, when pain is distressing and disabling, it's like the, the, the amplifier has been turned up on your system, and so it's just screaming at you. But we know that that system is highly adaptable, and so there are ways of turning the amplifier down on that system, and that's what neuroplasticity is. It was fabulous. It just made me think about pain in a completely different way. And more than that, it gave me something else to think about. When I had a pain flare-up, I would think about the strategies he had put in place. And I realised when I was thinking about new things, I actually wasn't in pain anymore. I realised dis distraction is a really important tool. Right now I'm talking to you, I'm focusing on it on my shoulder now. And I can tell you how painful it is. But if I'm running down the park, you know, or riding a bicycle or whatever, you know, whatever, because I'm not on it. So if I don't focus my attention on my, my pain, yeah, I manage it very well, yeah. I could illustrate with an example of a person who was a bit of a computer geek, but never had any formal education, who had a severe knee injury that meant that he couldn't walk for a long period of time. And I made sure that he spent all his time laying, learning the computer programming language C sharp. So instead of going back to his work on, on the shop floor, he actually went on to start programming and went on to university and completed his studies because he actually had used the problems associated with a quite a nasty injury to move on to a higher level of functioning. I thought, okay, I'll try and do things to involve fixing my back and new hobbies. So I started doing free diving, which actually helped a lot. So I built up my core again. It relaxed me and now I'm doing that like all the time which is really good and I find it's a lot of their um, warm-ups and stuff are mixed with like meditation and stuff which is really good to just calm yourself down. I find the whole in the ocean the deep blue is really relaxing just by yourself. You have to be positive so you if you're going to be in pain and you just moping that you're in pain the whole time you're in pain you're in pain you're in pain and next minute the stress level increases and then your pain will never go away. It get worse in fact. Change the record. I keep saying that to myself, even now when I have a pain flare up, you just gotta change the record. Stop thinking about the pain. It's not your constant companion. Do something different and do all your normal things. Bend forward, pick up the thing off the floor, don't brace, don't protect. Now neuroplasticity will it taps into a number of things, like how much you're focusing on your pain, what you're thinking about your pain, whether you trust your body when you move, whether you're relaxed in your body, and all of those things around understanding that pain doesn't equal damage, that it's something that shouldn't and mustn't stop you from doing the things in life that are important, uh, that paying less attention to it and doing the things that are enjoyable in life uh, that learning to, to use your body in a way that is normal and relaxed and, and build your, your strength up again, have amazing ways of dampening that whole system down. And that is neuroplasticity. And that involves both the mind and the body. Uh, and for some, that's quite a rapid process. And for others, it's a much tougher journey. Uh, and that could be influenced by early life factors. We know that you know significant early life stress factors can make that journey a lot tougher. Or people who are involved with a lot of social stress, it can make that journey tougher. And as long as you understand that, um, uh, that it might be a slower process, but having the tools is really important. How I needed to fire off new neurons, um, neuroplasticity, I'd done all the reading on that, but I needed to go to him. And I needed him to actually have eyes on me and to tell me that it was okay to pick up things off the floor and that I wasn't going to slip another disc just by bending over. So neuroplasticity gives us a lot of hope uh, as clinicians that we don't see, you know, people who are in pain and who are disabled as that's their lot. We would see that as a beginning point of a journey.